I'm Vadim Pogachev, Chief Technology Officer of Biocom Technologies. Our company is a well-known leader in research and development of innovative products and technologies, including software and hardware for health and fitness assessment, physiological research, and biofeedback based on a new science called heart rate variability. Today we will be demonstrating our new professional product called Heart Rhythm Scanner. This product is being used by more than 50 clinical research and educational institutions in the USA and around the world, such as uh, AT State University, East Carolina University, uh, Royal University Hospital, Los Alamos National Laboratory, Stanford University, North Carolina State University, and many others. Uh, many professionals use the heart rhythm scanner in their daily practice to enhance their health assessment techniques and uh, optimize their uh, treatment procedures while others may prefer to use a uh, heart rhythm scanner to obtain more comprehensive assessment of the autonomic nervous system uh, using uh, its built-in testing capabilities which are uh, much wider, more powerful, and extremely accurate. The heart rhythm scanner includes a number of different assessment tests. Now we will show you the first test called the autonomic balance assessment. This test records patient's heart rhythm at rest for about five minutes. Then a special short-term heart rate variability analysis is applied to obtain an assessment of current state of the autonomic function and the natural balance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. This assessment gives a valuable insight in current state of the body's inner regulatory mechanisms. By performing this test regularly, you may get important information about tendencies in patients' overall health conditions, whether it remain good, improving, or regressing. This test may be utilized by many healthcare professionals, ranging from general health practitioners to chiropractors, naturopaths, uh, nutritionists, weight loss counselors, physical therapists, and many more. Uh, this test must be performed while patient sits relaxed in a chair, slightly reclined position. The patient should limit body movements, remain silent and have a neutral state of mind. It is recommended not to take any food, caffeine, beverages or do exercise for at least two hours prior to this test. To record patient's heart rhythm, we use Biocom 4000 ECG recorder. Uh, connected to a PC uh, with USB cable. Uh, the device has two embedded uh, electrodes and one separate electrode on a cable. Uh, first, we must put two elastic wristbands on the pa patient's wrists. Then we should put the device on left wrist under a uh, wristband and make sure that it's aligned along the arm. And the next we need to put the separate electrode under wristband on right wrist to make sure that it has contact with skin. Okay. Now we're all set and ready to do the test. Okay. Next step, uh, for, uh, we have to open patient record if it's uh, there or create if it's new patient. So we open patient record and then we need to choose the test, autonomic balance test, and uh, just begin the test. The software uh, shows ECG signal and um, detected heartbeats on it to make sure that we have uh, good quality of data. 
and then uh, it also shows a heart rhythm graph. Um, we, we have to ensure that we have regular heartbeats on the graph. Then once um, it's done, then we can begin the test. Just click record button to start recording. Uh, this take, test takes uh, five minutes and the software shows how it progresses, indicating elapsed time and time left. Uh, this is the autonomic balance assessment report. It shows patients' personal information, uh, information about quality of test data recorded, numerical information of the results of uh, HRV analysis for both time domain and frequency domain analysis, and uh, normal ranges. Now we see that these particular test results uh, lie within normal ranges, so that they're all green. It also shows heart rate graph indicating whether heart rate lies within normal ranges or not. In this case we see that it's normal. It shows power spectrum, heart rate scatter graph, and finally it, the key part of assessment report uh, autonomic balance diagram indicating how well autonomic nervous system function is performing including if it's balanced um, and also how high its uh, tonus is. This diagram has seven distinctive types of conditions. This test result indicates that the condition is balanced autonomic normotonia, which means that it is perfectly balanced and tonus level is high enough. Uh, on the right side of it, it shows separately the level of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. They're normal. Uh, below that, uh, the assessment report shows test summary indicating prevailing rhythm uh, we see normal cardia, which means the resting heart rate is within normal ranges. Then it shows heart rate disturbances, um, indicating whether there were occasional or regular ectopic heartbeats during the test. Uh, in, in our test, there were no disturbances detected. And finally, it shows autonomic function condition uh, which is a verbal interpretation of these test results, both autonomic balance and uh, autonomic tonus. Uh, below that, the report shows uh, basic recommendations to the patients based on this mm. test results. Uh, this was a presentation of the autonomic balance assessment test. Next time, we will show you how to use the cardiovascular health assessment test. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time.